across Europe, a watershed in the history of dance music, as had brought European techno in its wake. But even as trance DJs revived the sound for 93, mystery surrounds origins of the music. Was it the clubs, the DJs and the drugs, or was it a shiny metal box that went? <laughs> It's absolutely naive to think that an experience on a dance floor is going to change society. But it's not above the realms of possibility that an experience on a dance floor can change an individual person's outlook on life. '88, it was an incredible year. Um, in London, that's where the Summer of Love exploded, and it, it was a club that we was working at called Rip in Clink Street that functioned all through the summer of '88. It was pretty much Rip and the Shoom that were the two big acid house clubs. Shoom was very lightweight, kind of poppy, and uh, Clink Street was very intense and quite dark, very, very heavy acid. London and Manchester, England, 1988. A strange new music launches a strange new culture. Parents will never look at their kids in quite the same way. Alcohol goes out of fashion, and every teenage wardrobe has the same T-shirt in it. Why? It was raw and exciting, really raw and exciting. It was recorded on a couple of machines. It was, to me, it was like punk. It meant that you got away from kind of the muso aspect, and clubs were going back to kind of you know, people being able to do it in their bedroom and cut, go down and take the tape down and cut the record off the tape. Um, very raw and fresh. Stay tuned for more over the top acid house madness. Some intelligent British DJs quickly turned acid into pop. Doctor in the house. Yeah, possibly. and the only ways up had a well acid baseline. Definitely acid pop. Saturday night in London, I'm standing behind Historia. It's trip night. It's a hot night. It's the hottest night, and this is why. I think the difference is, is in, in some clubs you walk in and, and everybody sort of stands at the bar and looking at each other and no one really you know, freaks out like that. Whereas in here, people walk in dancing. Acid became a way of life which seemed to operate outside the parameters of the law. The backlash against the acid house craze is gathering momentum in Britain. A lifestyle in Britain, Acid House was purely a dance music in Chicago, where it was invented by a small group of DJs and producers. The true um, originator and godfather of acid music is Adonis, my partner. He's the guy that really started off with um, going under not only his own name, Adonis, but also Jack Frost. I'd say my favorite Acid House track was uh, Shout. The one that Adonis did, the way it was mixed, the way uh, the way it started and stopped, that really that really excited me. DJ Pierre uh, would probably get the, the tag of being the creator of acid music. It started um, for me with creating the sound of house music, and then after that sound was developed. Um, I did Acid probably in 87. I did an album called No Fogo Is Necessary. Even more disturbingly, a local newspaper urged parents to take their children to a doctor immediately if they were wearing smiley shirts because they were probably on drugs. It was completely hedonistic, uh, very, very sexy, very psychedelic, a lot of adults, very, very uh, off it, and complete madness. The Certainly it was a substance-filled environment. Let's go! I thought it was great until I started hearing about um, that a lot of people thought that it was based on the drug acid and um, I really felt bad about that. And the name acid, uh, as it was explained to me by Adonis, it just came from the feeling basically that uh, it gave you a feeling because none of us uh, really do drugs. It's just um, the way we'd imagine like if you were to do something like that, if you are really gonna be on a trip, then um, the way the music would feel. And uh, that's the way the sound came about in the name, acid. For Europe, Acid House launched a whole new movement in dance, later renamed techno. For Britain, Acid was a revolution in youth culture. For Chicago, it was just one stage in the development of house music. 
But the key to acid was none of these things. It's ironically a small machine designed for rock musicians in the 70s. Whatever the DJs say, the machine made acid. Nobody had to play any notes. All they had to do was press the start button and twiddle the knobs. You can talk about Kraftwerk and Tangerine Dream and everything until the cows come home, but one man has been so important to this music is that man at Roland who invented that little box with the noises, the little of go, and all that shit. He's so important. I, I want to know who this man was. He, he, he is a pioneer of, of, of um, you know, if he patented that sound, he'd have had copyright and publishing on five million records. That there isn't acid. What, what makes it acid is, is turning a knob like this and making it do different formations of the bass line. That's acid music. But when usually people just got it and just had one bass sound like that. That's how it began. And then as the other guys got it, they tried to get more creative with it and they started turning all the knobs and, and the people not knowing that that's how acid music started. And that's it for this week's Weekend Edition.